What up, y'all? It's Fruit by the Six Foot Five. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the video. You motherfucker. All right, man. Today, we're talking about relationship type shit. That shit that makes you cringe when you think about it and you're like, oh, are they doing this? Are they doing that? Blah, blah, blah. First of all, if you're thinking that, they probably aren't the right one for you. Or maybe you're just super paranoid like me. Or maybe it's literally both. In which case, you just had a bad egg and you got to move the fuck on. So let's get straight into it. Are, or my bad, is my significant other cheating on me? You know, I had a girlfriend about a year ago and literally about a year ago and like the last time i saw her was a little over a year ago probably a year and a week ago um i had a girl it's my first girl first real girlfriend i had one in high school but it was like oh we're in high school let's date so we can so, you know what i'm saying that bullshit but this was my first real girlfriend i was 25 years old mind you i'm 26 now so i was new to all this shit right and I'm, let me just give y'all a little bit of background upon myself. 10 seconds, I'm not gonna be a dumb YouTuber who go to, spends fucking, okay, anyways. But I'm super fucking intuitional and I'm super sensitive to energy, all right? Got that shit from my mom, got it from my dad, got it from whoever, just whatever the universe gave me, whatever I am, motherfucker. But, so I'm super sensitive to that shit. So upon getting into this relationship, I would always be like, super on edge when we would go out because she liked to go out she was a night owl da 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 like to drink party and all that stuff and i was like introverted you know what i'm saying and i was like upon meeting her i was like really trying to get my shit together and then i met her and then she was like oh yeah i love to go out da 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 so i was like going out on her behalf you know what i'm saying and that's another thing too if you meet someone and you guys are automatically on opposite like they like to party or you like to party and they don't like to party and it's just like uh and you're automatically compromising for them motherfucker that's okay that's a first red flag that you shouldn't that's a whole nother video i'm gonna i'm gonna do a whole nother video on is this the right one for me but okay so is my person cheating on me so every time when we would be out i would be like super fucking i need to drink some water before this shit I would be super on edge because I never had a girl before. And every time I dude, I would be like looking for motherfuckers to look at my girlfriend so I could be like, you know what I'm saying? Like give them the look, like I will kill you. I was just that person. And she was just like a super like social person in general. Um, but it, it, it didn't help, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, she was just super nice to everybody. And uh that's a whole nother story. But so I, like every time we went out, I would just be like, don't look at my girl. Don't touch me. You know what I'm saying? Have that attitude. And my friends would be like, bro, you got to fucking chill. People are going to check your girlfriend out. It's planet Earth. You can't like stop. You can't. There's no like law that says you, they can't look at your girlfriend and check her out and think like, oh, I would fuck that girl. You know what I'm saying? But I couldn't get past that shit. And so every time, like, she would meet eyes with someone, you know what I'm saying? And, like, she would tell me, too. She'd be like, well, yeah, of course you can, like, look, but don't touch. Like, obviously, like, da-da-da. And her just saying that, you know what I'm saying, was just like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, you would, want, you would like, be cool with me checking out another girl in front of you? Like, it was just off, man. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to do a whole other video on is this a person for me. But so I would, it, when I would not be with her, I would always be like, Man, because she had her own apartment at the time and I was living with my mom. So I, every time I wasn't with her at her apartment, I would just be like, mm, like this bitch is fucking someone. You know what I'm saying? And then it just got to the point where I was just like, like hitting up, like I was that boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Like, why didn't you answer my call? Like, da, 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 like, blah, 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 blah. People were like, y'all, usually it's the girl who does that shit. I was that motherfucker. So it got to the point where I was going insane. And when I was with her, like I would get so physical, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking like sexually and stuff like that. I would get like so into it because I was just like, yeah, this is mine. Like no one's fucking with this shit. And it got like primitive. Like I was like, do I was like getting rough and shit. Like 
f sexually because I was just like, yeah, like you're mine. So, and she liked it, you know what I'm saying? It was all conceptual, but the thing is, I had control over that, over my thoughts or what I thought of that. You know what I'm saying? Like I had control over like, okay, you're freaking out. You're just being paranoid. Call her or text her, which I did. And she just wouldn't answer a lot. And she said she was sleeping, but man, I'm telling you that's for this other video. The main point is if you think your significant other is cheating on you, you have to come straight out immediately. If you get those feelings, you know, more than a day, more than two days, it's like, you, those are signs, okay? That's intuition. Either A, they are, and you're literally like, your energy's real and you're sensing shit, or B, they're not, and you just, you're like hung up on that person and you need to come out immediately and just be like, yo, this is what I'm feeling. That's the main thing with relationships, y'all. It's like, that's what I didn't, that's what I learned from this relationship. Haven't had another one to like capitalize upon that and like practice more, but that is what I learned. It's like, you need to bring forth your fucking feelings immediately. Set that shit out on the table. Look, it's a table right here. Set your fucking feelings. Those are your feelings. Put them on the fucking table. Put that shit on the fucking table and be like, this is what I'm feeling. If you're not with this shit, da, 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 then end it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like it, what I could have done is been like, yo, are you cheating on me? Straight up. Just been like, and she would have been like, what? Da, blah, 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 blah. But at least you put it out there. And if they're lying to you, that's going to catch up with them later on in life. But nine times out of 10, they're going to be honest with you. And the guilt is going to like hit them super hard in the moment that, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna be honest. And nine times out of 10, you're gonna know if they're lying based immediately upon their body language, okay? So I don't even need to go any further into the video. This doesn't have to be like a 20 minute video. Is my significant other cheating on me? It's like, if that's what you're thinking, you need to bring it to their attention. Don't go behind their back and shit and like, like tell one of your homies to hit them up on Instagram under like a different username or da 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 da. You can do that. You know what I'm saying? That's actually a really good idea. I almost wish I did that. I almost wish I had a homie hit her up who she didn't know and hit on her to see if she would have like made a move. But then that's also being spiteful and it's also not being trustworthy. And you should just come to and just, you know what I'm saying? Just ask them straight up. You got to ask them. And if you're not vibing with their body language on that shit, listen to your fucking gut. If you don't listen to your gut, you're going to be fucked for the rest of your life. I promise you on any situation, not relationships, any situation, financials, family, your future, job, anything, you have to listen to your gut. So that's all, y'all. If you think your person's cheating on you, boyfriend, girlfriend, dog, whatever you're doing, the earth is crazy now. Motherfuckers ain't even with humans anymore. If you think they're getting busy with something, someone else, bring it to their attention ASAP. And that conversation will tell you the rest of what you need to know. Have the conversation, be in the moment in the conversation, and then the next day, look back and be like, okay, da, 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 da. But their body language is gonna tell you immediately what you need to know, okay? So it's fruit by the six foot five. If you think someone's cheating on you, tell them straight up. Yo, I think you're cheating on me. Don't lie about this shit. And then see what they have to say. It, how fucking easy is that? And then move the fuck on if you really think they are after that. Or if they told you they are. If they tell you you're cheating on them, fucking get on. Get on with your life. You're way, you have way more to offer than that. Don't be spending time with a motherfucker who's cheating on you. That's bullshit. That's pussy shit. Unless, I mean, I don't know. Some people are cool with that. Not me. I'm, I need to give my time to someone who's going to take it and manifest it and be grateful for it. Like, I would be grateful for theirs. So, if you think someone's cheating on you, bring it to their attention. Be in the moment. Don't bullshit. Don't lie to yourself. That's all it is to it. Make your decision based upon that. It's Fruit by the Six Foot Five. I love y'all. Drink a liter of water when you wake up. A liter of water before meals. It'll change your life. Eat twice as much fruit as you're eating right now unless you're a fruitarian then that shit might kill you <laughs> i'm just playing 
eat way more fucking fruit. It's for about a six for five. I love y'all. Comment down below if you agree with me or if you don't. If you don't like this video, thumbs down. If you do, thumbs up. Support me, Patreon. Link down below. Smeek Squad down below. My gear, uh, my music is down below. My SoundCloud. If you don't fuck with me, that's cool, man. It is what it is. I fuck with myself. You should fuck with yourself. I love y'all. Six five. Pfft. Fruit by the six for five. Let's get it.